Right, hello, back again with some more of my work, if we want to call it that. Why am I doing this again? Well, last time I had fun. It was fun to go through, to take a walk down memory lane. I don't have exactly that many memories uh, from that time in my life. I was like two, but you know, that's... Just because I don't remember doing this work doesn't mean I didn't do it. So I thought I'd continue on the cycle of going through some more of my work. I mean, is it going to be mostly more of the same stuff? <laughs> you fucking betcha. But am I still going to do it anyway? Yes, because... I want to stop asking questions. This isn't your channel, it's mine. As you can see, I correctly identified every last thing they're supposed to be. We're all in preschool once, so. Except for the homeschooled. They're troglodytes. I don't trust them. How do you mean homeschooled? Fucking losers. I bet you go to a real school and get real. get, or school, get schooled up in here. Ah, yes. My happy and my sad face. They both look the exact same. What am I doing? <laughs> this is me. Oh, uh, brain injury, eh? So at this stage in my uh, academic career, um, it's basically all the basically all those drawings you just saw uh, was a school assessment to see if I was ready for school. I don't know what year this was. I don't know if it tells me. 2005. So this was literally the seventh of the ninth. So that's uh, September. This was about five months before I went to school. So let's see if I was well and truly ready to go to school. Task one, I had to write my name on the line at the bottom. I found the line confidently. <laughs> Good start. Pointed at the oval and looked up for confirmation. Now, Daniel, look for the oval. Good stuff. Well done, mate. I drew eyes, nose, mouth, cheeks, and ears. So, I was... I knew uh, biology really early. I had a... A great skill for pointing out facial features. Task two was to uh, point to the first circle, draw a happy face, and then continue on with sad, angry, happy, upturned mouth, sad, straighter mouth, but also kind of like a smirk, like I did something wrong. <laughs> when I wrote down for my scared circle, I said, look, he's got a beard. <laughs> scared little pansy bearded fellas. Maybe it's because I knew in the future I wouldn't be able to grow one. So I knew the sight of a beard would scare the shit out of me. Task three, write your name on the line and draw the other half of the butterfly. Write name on line, again. Repeated request about butterfly coloured the body and then around the edge of the butterfly. Did not attempt to complete the other side. I'm surprised I didn't think at this point that I had a learning disability because some of the stuff in here is just, it's like, I know I was only four, but I feel like a four year old should know how to draw another half of the butterfly. I think I'm very disabled. <laughs> Go me! At this point, I've had to write my name at the top of every line. And <laughs> in quotations at the top of task five, this is difficult doing my name all the time. I mean, going through this, it's like signing a fucking legal document. I mean, how many times do I have to write my name to tell you that this is me? I know how to write my name. I know who I am. Task seven. I had to colour in a star and then cut it out using scissors. Now that... Going off the last six tasks, that could be dangerous for me. I, I'm surprised I got all my fingers. So I coloured in the star, and then in quotation it says, uh, I said, my teacher's going to see this and say, that's a good job, Daniel. See, I knew. I'm, I'm confident. I was, I was confident going in. Maybe I shouldn't have been that confident, but I was anyway. You know, you know when, when you're explaining why you're right to someone, confidence is most of it, even if you're wrong. I coloured in the star with fair coverage. Better than nothing. I cut out the star, which took me <laughs> took me 15 minutes. Okay. Ask if I needed to paste it on the page. Remember to write my name after prompting he remembered three quarters of the instructions, but needed reassurance and encouragement to make it through the task. That has been a constant throughout my life. I feel like that's not just a four-year-old me thing. I feel like that's just a me thing just all up, just for the last 22 years. On the same page, during the observation of your child, being me. Identified strengths. Okay, here we go. Fantastic sense of humour. I mean... <laughs> obviously. Uh, acting out action roles. Good. I'm a kind friend. I mean, you know, some would beg to differ, but some would be in support. I mean, it's probably a 50-50 split down the middle, to be honest. And construction. 
<laughs> I de definitely didn't continue to follow that fucking fashion. Identified interests. Action heroes. Puppets and action. And construction. Again. I, did, I don't... I never thought to myself, maybe I will be a tradie. So, I don't know, that obviously dissipated. But, hey, you know, you know, some interests stay, some interests go. I mean, I still have a fantastic sense of humour. And I'm still a kind friend. And I love acting out action roles. And any roles in general. Acting's fun. I, I've gotten better at defending myself in conflict situations. Yeah, I'm just a natural Brazilian jiu-jitsu expert. I actually do remember one time... Um, I don't think I was fighting anyone. I think we were just like playing on this mat and I flipped some kid. That was pretty fun. The lack of awareness of my strength. That's my biggest weakness, I think. And then, so it said I was ultimately not ready for big school and then five months later, I started kindergarten. So, hey, follow your dreams. See, if you don't follow your heart, I could have been not in big school early. But I got to big school early and I persevered and I graduated year 12 with mediocre honors. Since we're in the year of 2005, which was my final year at preschool, I thought we'd look at the artworks from that year and see how much I've evolved. I mean, <laughs> uh, hello, duck, duck, goose, more like dot, dot, goose, because I'm dotting and I'm the goose. Uh, I use six colours because I like to maximise my options. And I sat next to a friend. Don't know who the friend was. I said, hey, where's my one? That sounds like me. <laughs> That sounds exactly like me demanding demanding my friends, hey, where's mine, you prick? And then coming in like, hey, I'm just giving you a bit of a fucking, hey, come here, you fucking. I took the lid off easily. That's a good start. I'm glad I could fucking at least do that. Jesus. If my child is ever um, a simpleton, I'll know why. It was my brain. So I came back and I, I continued to paint and uh, I said, hey, I'm going to do a wiggly snake. And then I did one wiggly snake, and I attempted a second, but it just didn't work out, so I probably gave up. I mean, it'll tell me here. Daniel was silent as he manipulated the lids and used three-fingered flute grip. What? Like that? Or like that? I don't know how I would even do that. That's fucking, that's advanced for a young star. This would be quite disturbing as a, uh, as a teacher. He completed his painting and held it up. Hey, look, I've got chicken pox. Paper mache, like look at this. That's nice, huh? That's that's advanced. That's advanced for a 45 year old child. Kara asked Daniel to name the color of the paper. I answered red. Well, it's blue. It's on blue paper. There's a tiny bit of red there, but I don't think you can. I don't think you can give me that. Daniel then said, "Oh yeah, nah, that's blue." <laughs> Classic me. Then I turned to a peer and pointed to his mouth and said, "I've got a cold." <laughs> what the fuck? What did I say that for? I've got a cold. That's some what? That's some Ralph Wiggum shit. That. I then asked the carer, "Can I start now?" <sighs> Can I start now, Kristen? Fuck. She said yes, and then I started spreading glue all across the page. No remorse. No remorse. What happens if I stuck something on I didn't want? What then? You know. I guess that's just my motto for life, really. You know, I shoot glue and I paste later. I don't ask questions. It's the curse of a genius to not be understood, and I think that's what was happening here. Daniel stuck some on the crepe paper and said, I'm finished now, and then I helped hang it up. Wow, at least I did that. That's a good, that's a good fella. Good young, good little fella. Good stuff, little man, guy, fella. Moving on to a third bit of artwork now. I feel like it's getting worse the further I go on. I say, okay, so yeah, so I had the silver crown, and then the carer prompted me, uh, saying I can still see the gold crayon in the box because I thought I had the gold crayon and then I laughed and said oh yeah that sounds like me <laughs> just laughing at how just moronic I am Australia would no longer exist if I was a scientist because I'd accidentally somehow find a way to blow it up so I started to color with the silver and then I said I'm going to draw my gran she's dawn she's my she's she's sorry she's I didn't say she's my dad's I said she's me dad's mum dad's gran no she's Dad's mum, she's she can't be one or the other. I turned to a peer and said, "Come sit over here." I turned to him and said, "Hey, fucking, hey, dickhead, come here. I will show you something." I picked up the black crayon and said, "She has black eyes. I'm finished." <laughs> she definitely doesn't have black eyes, unless she was in a recent boxing match. I don't think there was any black eyes to be had. But hey, Kara then dotted my name at the top of the page, and I attempted to trace it. I did okay. 
wasn't bad. I think I missed the end, but that's okay. Who, who, who knows how to spell my name? Not many people. Some people spell it D-A-N-I-L. Danil? Do I look Portuguese? No. Or they used to spell it D-A-N-I-A-L. I'm sorry, do I look like one of those hippies that spell their name different because they are different? I mean, it's not the kid's fault, but still. I think all, all we can get from this today is that I'm extremely talented. I mean, the last one was a bit tough, but this one, I mean, I think both these showed how smart I am and how much of a massive fucking cranium I own. Right, I'm, I only went through a couple bits today compared to the last time, but I think that was, that was uh, very fun to look back. See how much of a drongo I am. They we call that a callback in the industry. So I don't know how much more of this like crap I've got in this box. I haven't really I haven't looked through it. I just go into it blindly. But um I enjoyed it, so if you enjoyed it as well, leave a like. Or if you didn't, don't. I don't care. I'll probably still do another one if there's stuff in here because it's I have fun with it. But um anyway. Anyway, it's time for the fruity box to go back under the bed. I'll uh see you later. And um, good luck. Subscribe. Namaste. I love Shifty Drongo.